All right, we're alive. Hello, and welcome to another Zosin session. How about it? How about that? But you didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> hello, good luck. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Uh, so today, uh, I want to continue developing the text editor that we started to develop yesterday. Um, so you can find the recording of the um, of the first episode of text uh, editor development in the description. Unfortunately, it's not out yet. Uh, it's going to be out in like in the evening. So I'm going to just put a reminder myself like previous. Uh, previous episode uh, is going to be to be done. Doing well? Nice, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, I'm also doing well, definitely way better than yesterday. So yeah. Uh, and you can find the source code of the, uh, of the application in here. Uh, so we only started to develop this thing, uh, so it's, it, it cannot do much. Um, you can only insert uh, characters and remove characters and that's it, that is it and you can do that only at the end of the line and there's only one single line uh, hello Junior most welcome to the stream so uh, this is how it looks like All right so right now you can only like append some characters in here you cannot move the cursor around it's not a thing yet uh, and you can uh, you can only delete this thing and of course you you have no lines right and there is no line wrapping around uh, so basically yeah, so well, this is how much uh, we developed uh, on the previous stream in two hours. But we developed this thing pretty much from scratch. The only thing we used is SDL, um, and that's pretty much it. And we're using a pretty, you know, pretty basic font. Uh, but this is just uh, to test things around. So in the future, we're probably gonna use like uh, clear type fonts. I mean, I mean TTF fonts, not clear type. Uh, hello, Apparently Potatoes. Yo, sir. Nice to see you back. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Hands up. Mm, TYLD4. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Michael Obvious. Hello. Mm. I spilled a little bit of water on myself. Okay, so uh, today we're going to just simply continue developing this thing. So we're going to add more features and stuff like that. Specifically, I want to um, I want to be able to have several lines um, and also being able to move the cursor around. Um, so I think I need to actually uh, sort of like compose a list of the things that I need to do in here. Um, hello, CGRDMZ, welcome to the stream. Um, so and uh, after I compose that list, we're going to just implement these features in in, a, in, in that order. Right. So uh, let me see. So the first thing is going to be move the cursor around. By the way, boys and girls, uh, we still haven't come up with a proper name for this editor. Right, so if you have any suggestions, post them in the chat or in that is uh, issue specifically. So, and I'm going to also put the uh, link to the issue in the, um, uh, in the description as well for people who's watching on YouTube. Uh, right, so it's going to be... Suggest your names here. Uh, right, so here's the issue. Um, epic. Um, so, all right. Move the cursor around. Uh, the next thing I want to have in here is, I don't know, uh, multiple lines. Uh, multiple lines. Um, and also be enable uh, save and load file. <laughs> Right, so this kind of stuff is not just given. You have to actually go ahead and implement saving and loading of the files. Uh, moving the cursor around, multiple lines, save load file, and isn't that basically it? What else text editor does? If you think about it, like yeah, so th that's th that. Here's the three to dos, and after that you have a text editor. Um, well, I mean, there is a lot of uh, thought involved into moving the cursor around and navigating and stuff like that. But I mean, this is pretty much it, isn't it? Uh... Mm -mm. So maybe it would be actually kind of nice to uh, put the link to the issue there. Um... All right, so show CMD. So I'm gonna just grab this entire thing in here, and a uh, boom. Uh, so source code uh, suggest uh, the name, the name for the uh, the name for the editor here, uh, and I'm gonna put this thing in the description. It's gonna be update CMD project. There we go. Mm. Mm -mm. 
a bit uh, you're going to put some OpenGL magic into this editor's functionality. I do plan to use OpenGL, but I mean, I'm not going to use anything magical. It's just going to be plain OpenGL. Uh, nothing more sophisticated than just, you know, rendering a rainbow triangle. Uh, I'm not that good at OpenGL, actually, so... <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't really know, you know, sophisticated stuff. Text wrapping. Eh, text wrapping, maybe. Um, um, to be fair, I don't know yet. I think I'm gonna actually add issues as I develop these three. Because uh, along the development, I definitely will find out something that is missing or, like, really needed in the context of the current application. And only then I'm gonna create to do so. I'm not gonna actually, you know, rush this entire thing. Uh, hello, Termina Blocks HD, new I, you're me. Hello, hello. Hired Guns, welcome, welcome everyone, by the way. Hello, hello. Uh, so, uh, let's actually start with moving the cursor around, I suppose. Uh, cursor, there we go. Moving the cursor around. Mm -mm. So, we already have the cursor somewhere here. So, here is the buffer, and it has a particular size, and it has the cursor located in here. Uh, so, yep, yep, yep. So what I'm thinking is that maybe we need to extract uh, the buffer into its own uh, separate entity. I have a question. Why we use pointers in C? That's a very good question. Uh, to directly access the memory, I suppose. Mm. And also to pass um, objects by a reference. Since there's no references in um, C, you have to do that by pointer. Multiple mm, lines will come with a wrapping issue naturally. Yeah, I also think so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. To be fair, like answering like why do you need pointers at all is kind of difficult. Um, so, if you really want to understand why pointers exist, I would probably suggest you to try to program in assembly. Uh, because in assembly, it kind of actually makes sense, right? So they, they do make sense. In, in C, they don't really make much sense because the level is higher than assembly. So a lot of things are just like a little bit blurred away from you. So if you have experience in assembly, you will actually understand a lot of low level concepts like pointers, uh, stack, um, yeah. This is off the top of my head, right? So uh, assembly, like programming in assembly helps really, really well to understand what are pointers and what is the stack and, you know, variables allocated on the stack and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's the only thing I can, I can say about that. Um, all right. So um, I think we need, we need to now handle uh, things like left and right, right? If we want to move the cursor left and right, uh, we better actually handle left and right. Maybe also up and down, but we don't have multiple uh, lines anyway, so maybe it, it's not really important right now. So this is going to be left and right, and uh, uh, in this particular case, uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> if um, buffer cursor um, is actually greater than zero, uh, we'll have to be doing buffer cursor minus one. So, and if buffer cursor is less than the buffer size, uh, we're going to be doing buffer cursor uh, plus one. There we go. So we already can move uh, the cursor around and let's see how it goes. It will be even better to like support um, control B, control F like in Emacs. But I mean, maybe we're going to have a system of key bindings, but I don't really want to rush the development too much. Mm, I like T. Actually, I also like T. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's actually pretty short. Uh, I want the name to be short and memorable. Uh, okay, so maybe I would actually put it in here. Um, um, the name... Uh, the name should be uh, short because we don't want to type too much in the terminal to start the editor and memo uh, and memorable okay mm, and v not v <laughs> isn't it like basically now vim uh, 
All right, so, and uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I can actually insert the text and I can now move the cursor around already. Look at that. So, yeah. But well, interesting enough, if I try to insert something, it actually jumps to the beginning and insert it at the end. So we cannot insert thing in the middle, but we can already move these things around. So, which is pretty sweet, I would say. And interestingly, if you try to remove something in the middle, it jumps to the beginning and then removes it from the middle, right? So because we synchronize the cursor with the size of the buffer. Um, all right, and another interesting thing, cursor is actually hides away the uh, um, the character it's currently pointing at, right? So you see, it actually hides away this kind of stuff. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and fix that. So uh, to fix that, we simply need to get the current character and uh, yeah, and render it on top of the cursor. Um, so if uh, buffer cursor is it yeah so this is buffer cursor is less than the buffer size uh all right we're going to be taking the buffer uh buffer cursor so this is the character that we want to render in here uh render character right and the way we render the characters we do it like that so we provide the renderer we provide the font uh, as far as i know we don't have a font in here so maybe we'll have to pass it like that uh -huh. So this is going to be fun, and the character is this, essentially. Uh, the position is going to be at the position of the... Hmm. So the position is actually here. Okay, so maybe it would be nice to have something like a const vec to f position, All right? And it's going to be vec uh, to f. Um, so it's a buffer cursor. Uh, zero F, uh -huh. position, eh, you know what, uh, I'm going to do something like position X and we're going to floor fit on Y as well. So pose Y, there we go. Uh, so on the scale, do we even have a scale? I think it's a, it's a font scale. We're using global font scale in here. Uh, so the color, the color here has to be slightly different, I suppose. Um, so we're already using, um, yeah, very specific color, very specific color. It would be nice to invert it somehow, but eh, um, I don't even know. So let's actually put it like this. Um, so the color is going to be definitely white, F, 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 right. And for the character, it's going to be black, I suppose. Mm -mm. Uh, so, but we have to set uh, the texture. Yeah, 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 so we need to be able to do something like this. Uh, what I'm thinking is that it would be nice to have this as a separate function, right? It basically sets the current mode for the texture. It's basically uh, maybe by what color the texture is multiplied, but effectively it sets the color of the of the character, right? That's what it effectively does. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, it would be actually nice to extract this entire thing uh, into separate function. Let's quickly do that. Mm. Set uh, texture color. So this entire thing is going to essentially take the texture uh, and so it's going to be texture and the color is going to be in32 color. There we go. And I'm going to extract this entire step in here. Uh, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, we're already extracting everything. Okay, that, that's perfect, actually. Yeah, 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 this is actually perfect. So it's already working. And set texture color, uh, font sprite sheet. And this is going to be the color. There we go. And then down there, um, mm -hmm. so we're going to be doing something like set texture color, uh, font sprite sheet uh, and it has to be black there we go so it has to be black there we go um, all right hopefully that will make the character appear again on the cursor make the cursor blink it's actually a pretty good idea uh, but not right now um, so uh, blinking cursor yeah I, th I think we're gonna do that at some point uh, all right 
So it's going to be minus B. T E. There we go. All right, doesn't compile because uh, font uh, will probably have to. Oh yeah, okay, I see. So I need to create place font uh, sprite sheet with texture. There we go. So it's going to be like that. Mm, anything else? Anything else? So there's a font. Uh, aha. So when we render a character. Yeah, so I don't know why I don't pass all of these things by a constant pointer. Uh, there's literally no reason for it to, to not be constant. Uh, render makes... Okay, so this one has to be a font yet again. And hopefully that will work. Too many arguments. Are you serious? Are you serious, my friend? Yeah, it is too many arguments. There we go. Is it gonna work? Oh, shit. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> I tried. Uh, so, uh, render cursor. Uh, almost first try, almost first try, okay? Uh, so, I set this as a draw color. Uh, then I feel this in there, I think. Uh, mm, oh, I think I know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Uh, so there is a thing about like transparency in the texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, if I set some sort of a color in here, uh, we'll be able to see something. Uh, yeah, there we go. So this is how it looks like. So basically what's going on in here, look, 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 look. Uh, the background uh, of this texture map is black. So it just renders that black in the, in the sprite sheet as not a like transparent one. Um, yeah, that's basically what's going on. Uh, I think there was something like an SDL to set up like the key color in texture, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Gramo, uh, which is uh, almost like lighter and powerful than Kilo. Uh, Kilo is a text editor uh, in less than... Well, I mean, it's not going to be less than 1000 lines of code, to be fair. <laughs> uh, and this one... This one is a textual, I mean, it's it's a terminal editor, textual. Uh, we're doing a graphical one, so I didn't think so, but I mean, it's a pretty good suggestion. I like the current one, T, it reminds me of, this is actually a good one. Yeah, I'm also just slowly settling on just calling it TE, right? Even though it's like text editor, but it's it sounds like T and I like T. Okay, I'll think about it. Keep suggestion, by the way. So maybe we'll come up with something something cool. Uh, Wilkins, thank you so much for one year of tier one subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Code edit. Okay, code is actually not a bad idea. I'll think about it. Code. Um, thank you so much for for a year. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of months. Uh, code editor. Mm, not bad. So code in Russian means cat, as far as I know. Um, so the, uh, code is already taken. Ah, okay, fuck. <laughs> All right. So if if Cache actually already taken code, I'm not gonna call it code. And to be fair, uh, this is like I'm not even trying to compete with you, Cache. Seriously, does it look like I'm trying to compete with you? I'm just like, I never implemented a text editor before and I just want to see what it takes to implement a text editor. What kind of data structure you have to use? What kind of challenges you encounter? I don't really plan to be like this thing, a real thing. Cache on the other hand, like makes a pretty cool uh, text editor. So I definitely recommend check out his streams and check out his channel. So click on his nickname and like check out his stream. He's doing actually pretty cool stuff. So, mm, I don't decide it on the name. Uh, all right, so, um, mm, 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 mm. so it's, it's rather interesting because definitely like implementing a useful text editor that can work with different kinds of text files is actually quite difficult, right? So because I want to be able to edit 
uh, source code and I also want to be able to read something like, I don't know, one gigabyte of logs from database. I want to be able to just open one gigabyte file uh, of the logs in the database and search something there and close that stuff. And this is something that is possible in Vim. And what kind of data structure and approaches do you use to actually efficiently, if, uh, efficiently edit both small, uh, you know, source code files and also logs? That's a very interesting question. And that's why I'm trying to implement uh, this thing just to see uh, what it takes to implement something like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm -mm. So sort of like a, since I never done that before, it's something new for me. So maybe I'm gonna discover something about programming, about development, and stuff like that. Um, you probably already discovered all of that as you were developing your own text editor. So you already know what kind of challenges are you know you need to tackle to implement a text editor. Um, I've never encountered them yet. It's almost like playing a game, right? You know, so just like adventure game. You go on to adventure and you don't know what awaits you. And then you discover this kind of challenges, this kind of bosses and you fight them until you implement them and they're working and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right. So what I was doing, I don't quite remember. Um... Oh, yeah. So there was something like uh, SDL texture key mode or something. I don't remember uh key caller yeah, yeah it's like a key corner but it's a key caller um uh, texture functions uh i see some egg chicken problem when it comes to development of the first text editor ever mm. i'm not sure what you mean by the way um so there's alpha mode, there's... Okay, so... Key caller. Mm -hmm. Key caller, yeah, yeah. So I already set the alpha. So this is the caller mode. Blend mode. Key mm -hmm. code, precisely. Mm, maybe we do that with a blend mod. Yeah, I think we have to do that with a blend mod. Uh, but the question is, what's going to be the blend mod? So no blending, uh, alpha blend. So just use this alpha blend add. So there's also other uh, color modulate. Mm. So basically, I want. I do remember that I actually solved that somewhere, like in in nothing, believe it or not. Uh, I did solve it somewhere there. So maybe I can just quickly grab this thing. Um, so I'm pretty sure I used SDL blend for this kind of thing. I actually used it in a couple of places. Set texture blend mod. Uh, okay, so what do we have in here? So it's a set blend mod. So this is one. Where is another? Probably need to go to SRC. I already in, you know, I'm already in SRC. All right, so there's only one place. Um, so let me see. Mm. Font. Yeah. Font sprite font. Aha, uh -huh, I think I know. So load BMP from mp font texture so let's find this thing and uh-huh set color key yeah that i was talking about oh that's why i couldn't find it because it's not set on the level of a texture it's set on the level of a surface oh my god sdl literally debated me like i thought yeah in, in sdl first you have to create a surface and then you have to create a texture out of that surface and the difference between surface is that surface is more like a, a texture on a cpu uh, and the texture sdl texture is essentially a representation of a surface um, like efficient representations of a representation of a surface on gpu 
right so in case of the open gel it's going to be open gel texture and in case of a metal it's probably going to be metal texture um so i never use metal so i don't know if they even have a concept of texture but probably they do because it's a concept of gpu so yeah first you have to set that kind of stuff on a surface which is on gpu and only then you'll be able to do that yeah yeah, yeah. set the uh, color key transparent uh, pixel uh, in the surface yeah that's that's what i wanted to have in here uh so and yeah let's quickly do that um so i'm going to just literally copy paste this entire stuff uh, you can change the color of the texture with set no 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 that's so it's the color uh the color of the texture itself i'm talking about what's the transparent color what is considered a transparent one so in our case black is going to be considered the transparent one so i already changed the color of the texture uh like that but it's not going to help uh right because that's not what we're trying to do um all right so this is nothing i'm gonna remove that and uh, then i'm gonna uh, go in here so font load font uh load font load from file so here we create a surface and then uh we're gonna be setting this stuff like that so here is the font uh font surface right the flag is going to be sdl true as far as i can tell sdl true and then we can set something like x f f zero 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 there we go so that's the transparent color and we can check the exit code of this entire step and that should finally work that should finally twerk so and if i try to do make minus b um and i try to run te and there we go it is working but uh yeah we, we need to bring back the color of this thing uh so render color uh render cursor rather there we go render cursor and uh in here i just need to set it back to black there we go um i also should not forget to rebuild this entire thing Right, 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 right. And there we go. So as you can see now, it's working. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So that's perfect. Isn't that epic? I think it's pretty epic. My God. Uh, all right. So let's do a committee, committee, and maybe even pushy, pushy. Uh, so make uh, the cursor movable left and uh, right. I'm gonna push that right into the repo. <clears throat> So the next thing I want to do, I want to be able to insert shit in the cursor, right? So right now, when we receive um, like a bunch of text, uh, we're just taking that text and we appending that into the buffer, right? So, but we're appending it at the end. What I want to do instead, I want to be able to append that uh, in the position of the current cursor, right? That's what I want to be able to do. So uh, let's create a special function maybe for the buffer. So since the buffer is a global thingy, uh, right, I'm going to do it like that. So I have an hex in here. Do I even use an... Oh yeah, I do use an hex uh, somewhere. Uh, so this is the buffer capacity. There's a lot of things. Uh, I want to... Yeah. yeah, let's create a function in here. Um, buffer insert text after cursor right so and we're going to be accepting the text like this right and essentially i want to just grab whatever we have in here right and adapt that to inserting thing after the cursor right so first thing we need to do we need to calculate the text size right so here is the text size then we can see how much free space we have um so we have this amount of free space that means we're copying only uh, like this amount of space all right so i suppose now instead of just copying the text we need to actually move uh, a little bit of text to free space for the thing we're inserting and only then copy so the first thing has to be mem move and only then mem copy right so uh, let's actually see how we can do all of that this is rather interesting not gonna lie not gonna lie so and it's also rather dangerous right because if you screw up you can uh, have a buffer overflow right and rust people are really scared of buffer overflows uh all right so we have a buffer in here we, we even literally call this thing a buffer believe it or not we even call it a buffer and we can accidentally overflow it if we're not careful enough so 
It cannot be more ironic than that. Uh, overflowing a buffer on a variable that is literally called buffer. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me see, let me see. So this is going to be like that. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, all right, all right. And uh, uh, so what do we have in here? So maybe it's going to be zero, one, two, three. Uh, three is actually a little bit unaligned. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I suppose the size of this thing is going to be like around seven. This is how much stuff we have. And the cursor is going to be currently uh, three, right? Currently three. And we want to insert, let's say, uh, two elements, right? We want to insert two elements. This is the cursor, uh, cursor, and this is the size, right? This is the size. So that means if we want to insert something, to be fair, if the cursor point at three, we want to actually insert thing before the cursor, right? So because if you take a look at this thing sort of like visually, so what is, what is the character the cursor currently point at? It points somewhere here between J and K, right? It points uh, somewhere between J and K. And if I start uh, pressing characters, it will insert stuff in there. It must insert stuff in there, right? Because if I have something similar uh, right here, right? And uh, so let's actually have a J and K. I start uh, putting things there and it inserts it like before this thing. So uh, because of that, I think I, uh, I would rather call it uh, before the cursor, right? So we're inserting stuff before the cursor. Um, all right, so that means I need to grab, I need to grab this entire chunk, right? I need to grab this entire chunk and move it to the right by the size of this chunk, right? Uh, all right, so that's very interesting. Um, let me see how we can do that. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. So mem move. Uh, Imagine introducing buffer overflows in your code to trigger Rust developers and get hacked because of that. <laughs> now you show them. Ah, oh, you proved your point. You proved your point. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> It's like, it's like saying, uh, I introduce SQL injections in my applications just to show these filthy framework users. You show them, <laughs> you, you, you surely show them. Uh, so uh, all right, so let me see. So insert text before the cursor. Um, so that's what we're doing in here, before the cursor. Uh, so I want you to actually co uh, copy this stuff around. So this is going to be my move. Right. So the destination is going to be... Uh, honestly... Huh. The destination is going to be literally size. Gun! Yeah, exactly. So we need to... Oh, we, we just need to move this thing here. Right. So that means... Uh, what I have to do, I have to move buffer plus buffer cursor uh, and then buffer plus buffer size and how much stuff I want to actually copy in there get on Rust Dev <laughs> yeah that's a good one thank you so much um, <laughs> uh, it's like uh, I don't know whatever um okay so in how many things i want to move in there hmm. i think i want to move um size minus cursor right so i need to move four of them yeah it's literally size minus cursor okay so size uh minus cursor there we go so that's how we're moving all of that. Uh, we're moving stuff the cursor to the place at the size. Wait, no, this is not true. We actually have to move it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I have to move it not there. I have to move it 
by the size of this thing. Yeah, I have to move it by the size of this thing. That means I need to move it like here. Um, all right, so uh, I can know that I want to do. Uh, all right. So this is going to be the cursor. Um, and three plus two. Okay, so buffer, buffer cursor plus text size. Um, I think this is roughly what we want to do. I think, I think. Um, so, and now we're copying what? Um, uh, we are copying, oh my God, I, I lost my text editor. Buffer, buffer cursor, uh, the actual text and the text size. And then we are, okay, we're uh, increasing the buffer size and we also need to increase the uh, buffer cursor by the text size. There we go. I think that's what we want to have in here. I think. So, uh, okay, so let's see if we manage to compile this thing. Mm, make minus B, make minus B. All right, so it appears, well, I mean, I never actually call this function. Why I'm celebrating? <laughs> I implemented this function, but I think I never actually called it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I never actually called it. Let's, let's, let's at least call the function that we just implemented. Right, so... Yeah, it works first try. I, I never called this function. Yeah, sure. Uh, nice one, buddy. Uh, um, okay, it's appending shit. I'm gonna be going in here. And... Well, that's interesting. Uh, assertion failed. Who needs Rust when you have C with assertions? Um, hmm. It started... Basically, it hit some sort of a garbage. I think that's what happened, right? Because it started to show non-displayable things. Uh, all right, so let's try to troubleshoot this entire thing. So it's going to be buffer, insert text before the cursor. So we're going to figure it out, hopefully. So, oh, the destination of our nation is slightly, okay, okay, it's slightly different. So the destination is here and the source is here. All right, all right. So that should actually work now. Uh, and if I try to insert something in between, it still didn't work. Okay, so that's, that's kind of strange. Uh, buffer insert text, uh, all right. So here is the text size and we're adjusting the text size to, you know, the size that will actually fit, right? Uh, and we're moving, so the, the cursor actually points, so if it's zero, it points there, if it's like um, three, it points there. So this is the correct place and uh, we need to move this entire thing in here, right? So we're moving it in here, so I don't see any problems in there huh so and then we copy in i don't see the mistake to be fair i really don't see the mistake maybe we can try to um, you know debug it uh somehow uh debug it somehow um, hello deep singularity hello how are you doing so the thing we can do actually here uh we can create like an alternative entry point uh, and I just realized that I think I forgot to fetch the latest changes. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, all right, so I think I forgot to fetch the latest stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Kashi, for being helpful, by the way. I really appreciate it. Uh, so. I think I already fetched everything. Uh huh. So yeah, I forgot to, to, to do this stuff. Okay, merge master. Uh, all right. So there is also merge conflicts. Okay, this is kind of this is kind of sus. Uh, this is kind of sus, and this is probably what we need to do in here. So it's going to be invert. Uh huh. Uh huh. So. Which one do we need in here? I think we'll need that one. Right. Yeah, that's the one we need. Not the one we deserve, but the one we need for sure. Uh, and this is the second one. And here we're picking that one. That's what we want. 
uh, seems to be compiling. All right, so I didn't really want to exit it. I don't know why I exited Emacs. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so, and let's continue merging the commit. Uh, all right, so here's that and seems to be okay. I'm going to push that right into the repo. Mm -hmm. So here's another one. It's very strange what's going on. So, um, yep. So the merge conflict happened in the middle of the uh, unstashing. So uh, I'm not sure what exactly is going on here, but. Uh, I suppose that is... Yeah, that is it. Okay, so I, I was just not sure what the fuck is going on, but now, now I can clearly see uh, how it is working. All right. So, uh, now, if this entire thing is actually doing the thing... Right, so, let me see how it is... Okay, so now, what I, what I initially wanted to do... Uh, what I initially wanted to do is... is uh, create an alternative uh, entry point. Uh, create an alternative entry point, something like this, right? So, and just buffer, insert text before the cursor, right? So, and you can insert something like hello world, right? So, uh, there we go. If I try to run this entire thing, right? So... Mm-hmm. So we're gonna break on main, and I'm gonna run this entire thing. Okay, so uh, we can try to print the buffer, uh, and then if I insert this entire stuff, right, uh, this is not what I wanted, I wanted to print the buffer. Yeah, here is the hello world. Uh, and now, I'm going to set the cursor uh, to zero, right? And I'm going to try to insert something like full bar yet again, right? Uh, and hopefully it will crash, but it didn't really crash. That's what's interesting about it. Right, when I actually put it like that, it really didn't crash. So maybe if I put the cursor like around five, will it crash? It actually didn't crash. Oh, this this is because it crashes in the um, in the render because of the garbage. So here there will be no crash. But this is, this is actually fine uh, because now I can do something like break uh, main, right? I can run this entire thing, uh, and we can try to print buffer uh, buffer size, right? So there's zero repetition, so this is going to be display. Uh, and now. Here we can clearly. This is not how you you're supposed to do that. So let's undisplay one, but display uh, something like this. Okay, so it displays hello world. Then we set the cursor to five, and then after that, it actually inserted everything more or less correctly. Well, I didn't see any problems. That's that's really funny. Uh, what about the buffer cursor? Right. What about the buffer cursor? It's actually oh, the buffer cursor is not updated. Or is it updated? Well, it's not supposed to be updating. Uh, right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 13. Okay, so that should be fine. So I don't really see any problems in here. So that's very, it's really, really sus. Uh, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so maybe we can take a look at what's going on in there. Uh, what's going on in there? So this is going to be assert. So we are rendering a single character. 
I wonder if, uh, for instance, okay, I'm gonna go back to my uh, 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 other main, right? So this is gonna be something like main one, uh, and I'm gonna recompile this entire thing, right? And maybe I'm gonna do GDB in here, uh, and I keep uh, appending this kind of stuff, and here it crashes. Can I take a look at the? Uh, yeah, we're in the text size, and maybe we can even. Mm hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think I want to make a small break uh, and make a cup of tea or something because I'm. It's very strange because I don't see any problems in there. Well, we can always at least display uh, what's currently in the in the thing. Mm, it's currently in this thing, so this is the buffer size. When I'm rendering the sized text, right? So when I'm rendering the sized text, uh -huh. uh, I'm just going through this entire stuff. Mm. All right, let's make a small break. Um, okay, let's continue. So I'm thinking maybe we should just allow rendering of not ASCII characters. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, but just render them as question marks. So maybe that will help us a little bit to, uh, to debug this kind of issue. So let me, let me see. Uh, all right. Mm, so we can do something like this. If uh, this kind of thing, like ASCII low, uh, C and C is uh, ASCII high, right? So here's ASCII high. Uh, the index is going to be, uh, you know, the regular index. Uh, so maybe index is going to be something like this question mark minus ASCII display low. There we go. So by default, it's going to be uh, that. But if the C is ASCII one, we're going to set it like this. So that way, uh, if you try to display something that is not displayable, it's going to uh, replace it with question mark. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, let's continue. So we have that index. So this is should this should not be constant actually. Uh, all right. So we're inserting everything and moving in here, and yeah, yeah. So that's very interesting. Uh, look, yeah, here here are the uh, non-printable ones. Here are non-printable ones. This is actually very interesting. Uh, so I can remove this kind of stuff. One, two, three, four, and if I insert like A, yeah. That's very interesting. It feels like it didn't move it even properly. Right, so it didn't even move it properly. Four, five, six, A, uh, S, B, C, uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something like this. Uh, so buffer, insert text before the cursor. So, mm -hmm. maybe I don't understand how memory move works. Uh, so this is the destination, so this is the text size, mm -hmm. so and the source is that stuff, uh, and the amount of stuff we want to copy is this one. Mm -hmm. So here is the buffer plus cursor, right, so and then we're trying to move it uh, cursor plus text size. In our case, text size is 2, right? So that means this is the thing. So this is going to be the destination, this is going to be the source, and we're moving precisely two characters in here, right? So that should be fine, uh, right? And after that, I'm copying into this place, into this place, the text with this specific size, and the text size has to be equal to, to that, right? I don't see any problems in here whatsoever. Mm, and then we increment the buffer size by the text size, uh, right? And then uh, we update the cursor. So still don't see any problems in here. Still don't see any problems. Um, though we couldn't even. 
We couldn't even... Wait a second, when I'm rendering shit... I'm using... Okay, I'm using buffer size. I'm so confuzzled, believe it or not, because when I looked into debugger, it actually looked nice. Do we even use render text anywhere? Does anyone even use this thing somewhere? Uh, no, it's not used. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so that seems to be fine. Hmm... I think I want to look into the debugger, what exactly is going on in there. What if I don't update the cursor? Uh, I don't know, how is it going to help? Okay. So, can I reproduce it in a different way? Uh, so, I'm appending it like that, and if I put something in here... Uh -huh. mm. It feels like it doesn't move shit, that's what it feels like. It feels like mem move doesn't work uh, as expected, as I would expect it to work, but it... Uh, this drives me nuts. Um, destination source, and then we move precisely. I don't know why this kind of stuff happens to me. Like it's something like very small, and uh, I just can I can spend so much time debugging it, and I just like oh my god. Um, all right. So is there any any way we can? We can do that. Um, <laughs> now I'm completely blind to this issue. I like it just completely blind. Um, I wish I could stop. All right, can I actually do the following thing? So I'm gonna just do GDB and I'm gonna just run this entire thing. Can I edit uh, this thing? All right, okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, put it like this and uh, then I interrupted this entire stuff, right? So um, GDB pose the application because I want to actually put the Okay, I think uh, I, I found a way uh, I found a way to to, to fix that uh, We I mean to, to, to debug that we can try to insert some text uh, In here, right? So we have a hello world uh, right, so we insert in hello world. So that means if I run the entire application, it's going to have hello world in here, which is which is nice. Now, uh, I'm gonna run this in a debugger. I'm gonna break um, buffer insert uh, text before the cursor, right? And I'm gonna run this entire thing. Uh, and it already, well, I mean, okay, so <clears throat> I can continue, I suppose. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna try to insert a character and there we go. We're finally in the debugger in the correct place, which is super nice. Uh, I can take a look at the buffer, right? So this is gonna be uh, buffer size, right? So here's hello world and we can take a look at the buffer cursor, right? So buffer cursor seems to be like six. Uh, okay, so then we can take a look at the text we're trying to insert. We're trying to insert S. All right, so we're calculating the text size. Text size, there we go, it's one. So the free space uh, in our case going to be, so this is how much free space we have. So if the text size is greater than the free space, we're gonna assign it, but in this case, we're not gonna assign it, okay. 
Um, so in this particular situation, right, uh, I'm gonna train the buffer yet again. Maybe I, it will be better to actually display this entire thing. So here's the buffer size. So I'm gonna be, keep displaying this entire thing. So buffer plus um, buffer cursor, right? So here's the buffer cursor. Uh, so if I try to print it, it uh, looks at like precisely like here. Okay. Um, but if I add the text size, right, it's like it needs to be moved there. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. The whole chunk, the whole free space. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> I see, I see now. <laughs> All right, that was helpful, actually. Uh, I like how when you just step in the debugger, even though the debugger does not immediately show the problem, just because you force yourself to like look into each individual detail, it actually helps a lot. All right, so uh, essentially what we have to do in here, it's not the text size, but it's actually, um, yeah, it's actually this thing. All right, so we need to move this entire thing. It's size minus cursor. Yes, okay, okay, that, that explains everything. It's size minus cursor. Um, so it's gonna be buffer, size minus buffer cursor. There we go, I think I found it. I think I found it, everyone, everything's okay. Uh, and uh, I'm restarting it, and then, yeah, perfect. That was goddamn perfect. Hello, test, nice. Yes, 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 kawaii fucking decimate. Ha ha. Awesome. It is pretty awesome. Mm, all right. So, uh, yeah, my main problem was that uh, it, it was kind of difficult to set up the state of the application to go in the debugger somewhere because GDB is shit. So, <laughs> so yeah, I put buffer overflows in my applications to piss off Rust developers. Uh, I'll definitely show them. Somebody hacked my application. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, let me see. We don't need this kind of shit, uh, and uh, so we insert everything. So I want to be able to also delete, like backspace the uh, the characters under the cursor, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, so buffer uh, insert text before the cursor, uh, and we can do something like buffer backspace right, backspace. So, and this is going to be just a single backspace, right? Um, and essentially what it's going to do is it's going to just remove a single character. Uh, how can we remove a single character? So what we have to do... Uh, so let me remove all of that stuff. Uh, we want to remove, like we are currently here. That means we need to remove this thing. That means we need to take this entire stuff and simply move it right here so it's going to be single mem move and then in decrementing the size but that only going to work uh if um the buffer cursor is bigger than one right so if uh buffer cursor is bigger than one is bigger than zero i mean uh we're gonna do a mem move uh buffer plus buffer cursor so the destination is actually has to be buffer cursor minus one, right? So this is the destination. The source uh, is going to be uh, buffer plus buffer cursor, right? Something like this. And the size is going to be essentially... Mm, size minus cursor, yeah, yeah, yeah. So buffer size minus buffer cursor, there we go. So that's basically a single move. Uh, and then uh, we decrement the size of this entire thing, right, we decrement the size, and we also decrement the cursor, there we go. Uh, also, maybe we have to do something like end buffer size greater than zero, just in case, because they can be, uh, you know, uh, desynced for whatever reason, and we want to actually catch this kind of situation as well. So it's quite important in my opinion, it's quite important. So now we're gonna have a backspace in the place where we expect it and it didn't work because we don't call this function. Yet again, I implemented epic function but I never called it, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's gonna be back uh, space and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing here. There we go. Uh, boom, a boom, a boom. Isn't that epic? Isn't that Pog, fellow kids? Uh, 
yes, 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 cowboy, fucking this one. So, and yeah, we have a backspace, I can uh, test things. Uh, something like, uh, hello world, and then I decide, nah, nah, nah hello uh, chat, how are you doing today? Uh, and then maybe tonight, uh, and how are you, not doing, just are you today? So, yeah. That's, that's what you can do, so you can actually edit this kind of stuff. Um, isn't that POUG, uh, fellow kids? <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually super fun, I like that. Uh, so in POUG, POUG, uh, very POUG. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty. Mm, so, um, but we also need to be able to actually delete the characters, right? So let's quickly implement that. Uh, backspace, uh, buffer, delete. Um, Alright. So it actually looks like you're trying to delete the buffer, but uh, in fact you're not. Um, Mm -mm -mm. So maybe we can come up with a better name for this kind of thing. But delete is going to do what? Right, so if I take a look at T, uh, it basically removes the, the thing at the current character, right? So it should be pretty straightforward. So if buffer size is greater than zero, right, uh, the only thing we need to do in here, I think... Well, I mean, the cursor has to be uh, from space. <laughs> That's a good name. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> buffer size, buffer size, and the buffer cursor, uh, I think. Uh, buffer cursor has to be, um, I guess, less than buffer size. Right? So, because the cursor can be equal to buffer size to indicate that you are appending things at the end. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what we're doing here. We're gonna mem move buffer plus um, uh, buffer cursor, right? But we're moving think buffer uh, plus buffer uh, cursor plus one, right? And the amount of stuff we're moving there is buffer size minus buffer cursor, buffer cursor, and we're actually only decrementing the size of the buffer, but not the cursor itself, right? So this is going to be like this. Uh, okay, mem move. Um, mem move. Uh, and now, uh, it didn't work because again, I never called this function. <laughs> Why do I have to call this function? Can I just implement the function and that function is automatically, automatically hooked up into the, uh, into the key events and something like that? It would be actually super convenient in my opinion. Uh, all right, so why do I have to do it myself? Where is my GitHub copilot? Can GitHub copilot automatically hook up the function for me into the event loop? If it can, now I will, I will say that it's actually useful, right? Because right now it's basically glorified Google plus Stack Overflow copy paster. <laughs> uh. Mm -mm. <sighs> so it's going to be something like delete. I'm going to break. Um, so, uh, as long as someone has that on GitHub, it probably can. Uh, DC, uh, DC is in in incursus, not in SDL. I think in SDL it's called actually delete. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Buffer delete. Mm, let's all hydrate. Let's celebrate and hydrate. Okay, so it's working. Would you look at that? It is working, it is twerking. Mm, it is working, it is twerking. I think that's pretty POG, isn't it? I think it is, in fact, it actually starts to feel like a text editor, even though it has only one line. Uh, it does feel like a text editor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all right. So what were we were working on? I think we were working on the uh, on the cursor, right? So let me see. What's going to do? Move the cursor around. Okay. 
Um, so I suppose uh, I want to actually have additional stuff like um, jump forward, uh, backward by a word. So that will be actually super useful. Um, so maybe things like uh, delete a word would be also quite cool. Uh, we also want to have uh, something like selections, uh, but no, I think it's too much in the future. I think it is in fact too much into the future. So uh, for now, I'm going to just create these two things. Um, and uh, let's make a committee. Com mm -hmm. So, all right. Mm -hmm. um, implement uh, a cursor proper uh, cursor navigation of our nation. I'm going to push that right, right into the repo. I'm going to push that right into the repo. Uh, okay, so far T seems to be the most popular, the most popular name. So yeah. Alrighty, so let's create a pull request and see how it goes uh, implement uh, so we'll also merge this kind of thing something went horribly wrong somewhere here uh, on windows uh, shit. i don't like that uh wait a second i want to kind of like clean up this entire stuff but maybe maybe that's fine yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's fine so uh so, uh, so this was not proper cursor navigation, but you know what? I'm, I want to actually clean up this commit. So, um, amend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I meant. Okay. Uh, implement proper custom navigation. Uh, so, and in here, what we implemented is um, insert text under the cursor. Um, mm -hmm. Implement cursor um, text manipulation uh, manipulations under the cursor insert before the cursor delete character um, before and after the cursor so this is the thing that we implemented i'm gonna force push into the into this thing because i want to have like a proper commit message in there uh so and let me see let me see so maybe we'll have to create like a new new pull request to uh cursor okay mm, make the cursor move the left and right yeah but let's just call it cursor and let's go through the compilation error so i suppose msvc build fails uh for whatever reason so we'll have to quickly fix msvc build Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so let's see why MSVC is failing. Mm, mm, mm. So, conversion from size T to float possible data loss. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, 89 and... Okay, that's actually pretty good. Thank you so much. Buffer cursor. Um, so where precisely? Size T, I suppose, is that thing. So that means I'm going to be converting it to float like this. Um, all right. Mm. Try to fix MSVC build. Right, and I'm going to push that right at the repo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I'll just wait a little bit. This editor will support GitHub Copilot, of course. I'm pretty sure it will be soon written by GitHub Copilot. I wonder if GitHub Copilot can implement itself. That would be actually kind of pogue. What do you guys think? If it just implemented itself, you tell GitHub Copilot, go implement yourself. <laughs> and it goes and implements itself. 
and we all lost our job except me because I don't have any job so I have nothing to lose mm. this is by the way the reason why I'm not scared of this like programming automating technologies because I already don't have a job so I have nothing to lose so I don't give a shit <laughs> um, so uh, I think this seems to be fine I'm gonna merge this thing Go implement yourself. That that was the that was the joke. That was the joke. Uh, alrighty, 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 alrighty. Mm, so what else we're gonna happen here? Uh, so multiple lines. I really wanna have a multiple lines, but at the same time, blinking cursor sounds like a pretty low hanging fruit. If you know what I'm talking about. So, but I think multiple lines is more important than anything we have in this list right now. You know what I'm talking about? Right. So, this is the highest priority because once we implement that, uh, we'll be able to actually work with actual text files, right? We'll be able to load them and, you know, properly display them and whatnot. So, I think that's precisely what we're going to do in here. Mm hmm. Careful, HRs might be watching. They don't watch Twitch, trust me. <laughs> uh, not a single HR actually knows about science and technology section yet. They haven't discovered that section yet. Uh, HR was space. <laughs> the space safe from HRs. Finally. Uh, so. Alright, merge. Origin master. Uh, so multiple lines, right? We're gonna have multiple lines, and uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. So let's click on multiple lines. What I'm thinking is that uh, basically we need to have the same code. We don't really have to change too much, except the buffer. We, we, we just have to need several of such buffers with their size and their cursor and stuff like that. So we just need to have several of them for each individual line. So maybe because of that, um, we, we're gonna extract the thing, this thing into its own abstraction called line, right? And then we're gonna have a buffer, which is a sequence of lines, if you know what I'm talking about, right? So it could be essentially a sequence of lines. We can also make the buffer like uh, sort of extendable an um, extendable buffer, right? So it's a stretchy buffer, like every time you append something in there, it's gonna reallocate itself. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty pretty good idea. Um, so let's go ahead and implement this kind of stuff. So um, I'm just thinking how we're gonna do all that. I'm gonna create a separate a file in here, and it's gonna be called buffer.h, uh, it's gonna be defined, and it's gonna be end if something like that. Right, so it's gonna be type dev struct, uh, it's gonna be line, and uh, here we're gonna have what? How do I wanna call the, uh, the characters of that line? Um, I don't know, we can call it chars, right, so this, this is gonna be chars. And to be fair, the capacity is not gonna be known because we're gonna be constantly reallocating this kind of thing. Uh, right, so, and another stuff we need to have here is essentially capacity. Uh, capacity and the size. Mm, can't wait for uh, for start of implementing TE in TE. Uh, does it mean that the text editor is self-hosted? Is self-hosted text editor a thing? You know, when you develop a new text editor in text editor itself. Right. So I can finally claim that my text editor is self-hosted. Um, all right. Um, Serimon, what's up? Hi, hi. Good day. Uh, will you use string view? Of course. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using string view, uh, specifically for uh, parsing the lines. Specifically for parsing the lines. Um, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And essentially, um, I need to. I need to make these methods. A methods of the line if you know what I'm talking about right so uh, this one will become something like a line 
uh, insert text before and we're gonna provide the column in here right so yeah now cursor is going to be two-dimensional right so the cursor is going to have a row the current row and the current column right so if you want to insert text before uh, you provide the column in here and the cursor is going to be more sophisticated thing uh, so and now we're gonna have some oh, and of course you need to accept uh, the pointer to the line right there we go so then we're gonna have something like line backspace right so this is gonna be line uh, it's not gonna accept anything and then we're gonna have a line uh, delete right so these are two methods that we're going to have in here um, and let's go uh, buffer.c and I'm gonna include this entire thing so it's gonna be buffer.h uh, buffer.h okay I forgot the semicolon of course uh, buffer.h and let's go ahead and implement all of that and uh, where is this entire thing so it's going to be buffer.c uh -huh. so then backspace a boom and delete uh, a boom all right uh, and now i'm going to add all of that into the uh, into the compilation and go to the compilation errors right. uh, Buffer dot C dot C buffer dot C. Uh, let's go. Show me all of your compilation errors. Uh, size T is not familiar with size T, so that means we need to include uh, stdlib. Right, we're including stdlib. Anything else we need to include in here? Uh, anything else? So we have strlen, strlen located in this string, string dot h, boom. Uh, buffer capacity. Okay, this one is interesting. So I think the line should have its way. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this one is interesting. Buffer capacity. Line has its own capacity. Capacity, by the way. Line uh, capacity. Uh, right. So this one is very interesting. Basically, if we don't have enough capacity, we have to reallocate the line. Right. So we're going to be constantly reallocating this kind of stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, but we can have like initial capacity of the line if you know what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, so let's have something like um, maybe static void line resize, right? Line resize, and essentially it's going to take the line and it's going to take the new capacity, right? It's going to take the new capacity, uh, and in here. We're just going to be doing a realloc. Yeah, we're going to be just doing realloc. To be fair, that means that the logic of uh, deciding on a new capacity has to be located outside of a resize. Uh, so I think uh, this one is going to be something like extend. Extend, right? So, and we're not going to provide a new capacity because the decision on what's going to be the new capacity is going to be in there, right? So line expand even right expand mm. maybe grow <laughs> i don't know cannot decide on how to call this operation so if line uh capacity is equal to zero um we are just using the reallocation uh reallocation uh you know what i think the new capacity is going to be something like this size t new capacity so here is the new capacity and if the line capacity is equal to uh, zero we're gonna have uh, some sort of like a line init capacity right so this is the initial capacity Define line init capacity what's gonna be the initial capacity uh, maybe one kilobyte uh, it could be changed at any point it doesn't really matter so otherwise we are gonna be using oh shit this one is interesting it actually depends on the text that we want to insert. Right. So um, we could do something like line uh, capacity multiplied by two, but what if it doesn't fit in there? Right, so that means, oof, 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 oof. 
So maybe we could provide um, the size that we want to fit in there, right? Uh, we, we can provide the size that we can fit in there. Um, so, and we're going to be expanding the initial capacity for as long uh, as, as needed, right? So, and new capacity is going to be equal to line capacity, and while new capacity is hmm, this one is interesting new capacity minus line size right so this is the free space right while the free space is less than the end that we actually try to fit in there we are multiplying the new capacity by uh, by two right uh, so if um, um, new capacity is equal to zero Right, new capacity becomes equal to line init capacity. Uh, init capacity. Otherwise, uh, new capacity is just multiplied by two. Uh, right. So something like this. We basically increase the new capacity like twice until uh, this thing fits in there, and only then we're gonna try to reallocate this entire stuff. Uh, reallocate this entire stuff. Okay. Mods, timeout. All right. Uh, line uh, characters, and this one is going to be like something like new capacity. Uh, and we're going to actually reassign this entire thing in here. Line characters. So hopefully I didn't make any mistakes, right? So this is the capacity. It could be initially zero, which is fine. Uh, while the free space is less that we can fit in there, uh, we keep incrementing the capacity. Um. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is the text size. And I suppose, hmm, this one is interesting, right? Uh, if I call realloc with the same size, how slow is it going to be? <laughs> uh, realloc. Uh, uh, changes the size of the memory point. To the, the content will be unchanged in the range from the start of the region up to the, uh, okay. If the new size is larger, if the points are equivalent, if the size is equal to zero, then the point is not null, then the call is equal to three. This point is null, uh -huh, uh -huh. if the point area. Uh, I don't think it could be free because, yeah, even if it's like free, you still need to do a lookup in some sort of a table to find the size of the chunk and make sure that you're not increasing the chunk. So it could be actually quite slow, right? So maybe we're gonna do something like if uh, new capacity uh, is not equal to the to the current uh, like a life capacity uh, line capacity right so uh, I'm gonna be uh, only then I'm gonna be reallocating that way um, I think it's gonna be a little bit cheaper right so if you can fit this thing in there uh, you're gonna fall through this entire thing and then you will see that the new capacity is literally equal to the capacity and you're never gonna be reallocating so this is gonna be a pretty cheap right so and because of that I will be able to do something like line grow uh, right uh, grow to accommodate the text size but I mean it would make sense I don't even have to do this kind of shit anymore because since I'm constantly reallocating it's always gonna fit right so I can do something like uh, const uh, size text and this is gonna be line uh, text size there we go so something like this right um, okay so do we need anything else okay. I, I think that's fine so let's actually go through the compilation errors uh, okay else semicolon Mm -hmm. So buffer, uh, this one is going to be something like line characters, then we have a line, this is a cursor, so this is going to be a column, uh, then the text size, then we have line characters, um, then the column, right, 
So buffer size. Uh, buffer size minus cursor. I guess, yeah, so it's gonna be line uh, size minus column. There we go. Uh, line characters plus column, then text, text size, and then we're incrementing the line size. Uh, line size. Mm, and who's going to be incrementing the cursor? Who's going to be incrementing the cursor? I suppose the cursor has to be incremented by whoever calling this thing because cursor is going to be a single two-dimensional thingy uh, that is stored somewhere like higher level than line. So because of that, we probably don't need this kind of thing anymore. I think. Uh, I do think so. All right, and because of that, uh, these two functions also have to accept the current column. All right. They also have to accept the current column. All right, buffer the page. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so uh, let's go through this entire stuff. So maybe I can just do query replace buffer cursor column. All right, there we go. Anything else? Mm, buffer size, query replace line. Um, Buffer size, line size, there we go. I might as well also quickly replace buffer with uh, line characters, right? With the line characters, okay, um, the same thing. So maybe I can even use something that I already reused in here. So then buffer size, line size, and the buffer, the buffer itself is going to be something like this, there we go. Mm -mm. All right, seems to be compiling. Uh, so did I update the headers? So I think I did in fact update the headers. All right, so that's pretty POG. Isn't that POG? <laughs> I don't know why I love this word so much. I'm sorry, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isn't new capacity initially zero? Um, in that case, the size also has to be zero. That's what's interesting. Um, so the workflow working with the line is that you allocate it on the stack, right, like this, uh, and then you just insert things and it should work automatically. Uh, so if the line size is bigger than new capacity, that means this thing was not initialized correctly. But that also means that we have to at least make an assertion, right? So we have to make at least an assertion that the new capacity, um, new capacity should be greater or equal line size. Right. So that's the assertion we have to make in here. Um, yeah. So otherwise, uh, you're not using line structure correctly. So that means it's in an inconsistent state. So yeah, thank you. Um, I think that's a good observation. That's a good observation. Uh, so assert dot h. All right. So let me see. Mm, all right. So what I want to do now, I want to replace uh, the current buffer structure with uh, the line. Right. So what I want to have in here is just basically uh, the line, which is zero initialized. Unfortunately, cursor has to be uh, its own separate thing. Because in the future, we're going to have uh, several lines. So essentially, the system is going to be expanded like so, right? So we're going to have several lines and the cursor will become cursor row and cursor column. And maybe this entire thing also going to be reallocatable and we're going to even uh, extract it into sort of like a buffer that constantly reallocates the lines, right? Because it may want to insert lines like delete lines and so on and so forth, right? So, um, yeah. But for now, we're going to keep it like this, right? For now, we're going to keep it like this. Uh, and we don't need this thing anymore, I suppose. Right, this thing is gone, this thing is gone, and this thing is gone. Uh, and let's see what's going on. So we need to include uh, this thing in here. Mm. Buffer.h. Mm, so buffer cursor. 
All right, this one is interesting. So maybe I'm going to do uh, something like this. Uh, and so this is buffer cursor and I suppose it's going to be line size. All right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Line characters and then this is the cursor. Uh, hello, Alex Zero. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So here, uh, we don't really need to insert anything in here. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So this one is going to be line backspace and I'm just providing the line. But after that, I have to take the cursor, right? I have to take the cursor. And if the cursor is um, <clears throat> greater than zero, right, it's greater than zero. Uh, I'll have to... By the way, that means that somewhere in here, I'm actually... Yeah, decrementing the column, but it's pointless, right? <laughs> it's absolutely pointless because it's, it's not going to affect anything. So cursor uh, minus one. So this is a backspace. Then we have a line. Um, and this one is going to be just line. And if the cursor... Um, I don't quite remember. Oh, I think in this case, we don't even, uh, you know, don't even update the cursor. Um, and in here, uh, what we're doing, we essentially do cursor uh, plus the size of this entire thing. So it's going to be a sterling uh, of this entire stuff. All right. So let me see what we've got in here. Uh, line backspace. Too few arguments. Okay. So that means I have to provide the cursor. I forgot about that. Maybe I should have actually like passed the cursor as a pointer, but eh, I don't know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So moving left, uh -huh. buffer, this is going to be line size, cursor plus one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So line insert text before, right, and then we, we provide the pointer to the line and we provide the cursor and then, okay, is it going to be it? Uh, and then we're in it. Okay, so maybe we are going to have a special function that can just accept the lines but maybe not maybe it's just as simple as line uh, characters and then uh, line size right so there's no need to provide a special thing in here at least for now and it compiles okay so we managed to extract the concept of the buffer into its own entity called line right so and now we can duplicate this entity as many uh, times as we want and uh, we can have several lines in the editor, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> All right. So uh, let me let me see this stuff. And it crashed. Nice. Thank you, whoever suggested to put a certain here. <laughs> uh, all right. So... Mm, I mean, isn't the size... Well, that's kind of strange. Both of them has to be equal to zero, right? Aren't they? Um, why the hell would one be less than size? Why the capacity would be less? Especially if you try to grow, right? So initially you try to do that. Um, that is really, really strange. That is really, really strange. We're saying the sixth. All right, so... Mm -hmm. So we can actually go into the debugger, debugger wagger. So let's break at, um, I guess somewhere, somewhere here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so it's going to be break on line grow, right? Break uh, on line grow. Mods, could please somebody time out that person? Like it's really, really annoying. Uh, so um, run. Uh, all right, so okay, so this is the new capacity, and okay, at first it actually, I think I know, I think I know, I forgot to actually update the capacity. All right, so that's what I forgot to do. All right, if we are reallocating, we have to reset uh, the capacity. Um, mm, 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 mm. So this is what I forgot. Thank you, by the way, uh, Lucy in the sixth. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. This is actually super cool. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we're reallocating thing, but I forgot to uh, update the capacity. So, uh, all right. 
Um, um, okay, this seems to be working. Uh, this seems to be... That was weird, by the way. I think. Uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the... Uh, <laughs> I don't fit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, brown fox bear test. Seems to be working. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that's 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 nice. So um, we managed to extract this entire thing. We managed to extract this entire thing. Um, all right. Um, factor out the notion of the line. Uh, my first point is they will be the centerpiece of my trophy display. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, so let me let me see. All right. What that means? We need to introduce the buffer, right? We need to introduce the buffer. Um, mm -mm. And the buffer is going to be basically the um, you know the collection of the lines. As simple as that. Right, type dev struct uh, buffer, uh, and in here we're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna have a capacity, right? Capacity, uh, and then the size, uh, eh. and then the lines themselves. Would you look at that? So here are the lines. So essentially, buffer is like a line, but instead of characters, it has lines. Uh, on top of that, I think buffer uh, is going to keep track of the cursor, right? So it is going to have something like uh, cursor row and cursor column, right? Something like this. Maybe because of that, it shouldn't be called editor, uh, buffer, it should be called editor, right? So we have an editor, which is essentially a collection of lines plus the cursor, right? It's a collection of lines plus the cursor. And because of that, this entire thing maybe should be called editor. All right. So yeah, okay. So this is sort of like an abstract editor structure that you can hook up to uh, whatever renderer you want, right? So yeah, this is actually a pretty cool idea. Mm -hmm. All right. So editor, uh, editor. Uh huh. So this is the editor, and this is the uh, editor. So and the thing we want to do in here, uh, I don't know. One other thing for sure uh, I want to do is insert maybe editor insert text before cursor right and in here I'm gonna just be accepting the editor uh, right I'm accepting the editor and the text that I want to insert so what this editor is going to do it's going to basically grab the current row grab the current column find the line according to the row and call line insert text before with the column updating the column correspondingly right so this is the basic data structure that we're going to have in here you know what i'm talking about um so yeah and i think we're going to also have like editor uh backspace right editor back backspace and editor delete which basically finds the corresponding line and performs that operation right so it basically dispatches these operations to the corresponding lines um and for now i don't even know we also probably need something like insert a line mm -mm. right because if i zero initialize the editor like so right so i'm basically zero initializing the editor this should be a correct editor but in reality it is kind of not um but i would expect uh, in any editor to have at least one empty line and that's probably going to be the default uh, behavior so essentially yeah if you try to insert the text into the current cursor, you're referring to the row and you don't have any lines at all. Um, we're gonna be just extending, like we're gonna be just inserting a new line. Right. Something like that. Uh, but it's gonna take some time. So I think I'm gonna make a small break because uh, yeah, I was extracting all that and it's just a little bit tired.
So yeah, let's make a small break. Let's make a small break. Um, just a second. Um, okay, so um, what is going on here? I already forgot what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. So we need to implement this entire stuff. All right. So let's go to the to the buffer dot c uh, ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit of ahead of time. Uh, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. So and insert text before the cursor. Insert text before the cursor. Mm. So I'm not sure how exactly we're going to be implementing that. So I'm going to just keep it like this. So to do uh, backspace. And in in the majority of the situation, to be fair, what essentially we're doing, we're just searching for the specific line, right? So it's going to be editor uh, cursor row, right? And inside of the editor, inside of the editor, I'm searching for a particular uh, line. So we have a bunch of lines and we're redirecting this call to uh, line, uh, where is it? Uh, line insert text before right so line insert text before and this is where we are inserting that text specifically uh, Right and we're using the cursor column for that right, We're using the cursor column for that But the interesting part is that um, What if there is no line on the cursor row right so all of that makes sense uh, unless editor uh, cursor row or cursor row is greater or equal than editor size right uh, editor size so what we're gonna do in this particular case then uh, what we're gonna do in this particular case um, mm, I don't know that's that's very interesting so if it's greater than uh, than a size and for instance editor size is greater than zero we can simply do something like this. We can simply say that the cursor row is going to be equal to size minus one. Easy. But if the size is equal to zero, we can't easily do anything in here, right? So that means this is the initial state, right? We just created the editor, we zero initialized it, and it has nothing, it doesn't have any single row right now. So because of that, we might want to try to do something like editor insert new, uh, new line. Right, so we're gonna uh, provide uh, an editor, um, and I suppose it's gonna be doing that under the current uh, current cursor, right? So that will insert the new uh, the new line. Um, mm -mm. To be fair, insert the new line. Maybe it could be something like grow. Yeah, let's, let's call it insert a new line. Um, it could be push new line, just to just to make it a little bit easier for us. Push new line. Okay. After that, uh, the row uh, should be. So this should not buffer or flow. After this uh, sequence of conditions, this should be fine. Uh, but what if the cursor is um, greater than the size of this specific line? Do we even check for this kind of stuff? Uh, we actually don't. Right, we actually don't check that the column is greater uh, than the current size of the line. So here, what we can do, if the column is greater, um, it could be actually equal, I suppose. It, it, I think it has to be uh, greater, greater than the line uh, size. We're gonna make it equal to the size. Right, so it's going to be equal to the size because uh, a column equal to the size is a valid value for, for the cursor because in that case you're just appending in new characters. Um, all right, so so in that case that should be pretty much it, I suppose. That should be pretty much it. That's how we redirect things in there. Uh, because of that, uh, because of that, so we also need to do that for the backspace. All right. Mm. So column cannot be less, right? So maybe every time we actually have to do something like this, right? Um, yeah, yeah, every time we just need to check if the column even like fits into the line. Otherwise we're doing something completely incorrect. Uh, so when in here, 
When I do backspace, I think we also need to do this kind of stuff like every time before redirecting everything. Um, right. So maybe we should extract this kind of thing to like a separate function, but I'm not sure if uh, how we're going to do that. So maybe I'm going to just copy paste this stuff for now. Um, and after that, this is a backspace line backspace uh, editor lines uh, editor cursor uh, cursor row. All right, so it's going to be something like this, and the column is going to be cursor uh, column. There we go. So this is the backspace for the specific line, uh, and here this is the delete for the specific line as well. There we go. And this is something, yeah. Um, so after that, we should update. Ooh, this one is very interesting. You know why? I was contemplating whether I want a line update the column. I think I wanted to update the column because it may say, bruh, your column is actually bigger than I am. Adjust it accordingly, please. Um, right. So maybe because of that, we want to pass it by uh, a pointer. But on the other hand, you know, if uh, so, here is the column like in Emacs. In Emacs right now, column is actually quite big. It's bigger than uh, any of these lines down below, right? If I go down, right, it still always jumps to the end. But if I'm gonna apply the logic that I wanna apply after jumping to this one, the line is gonna continue actually moving along. Uh, it's supposed to move uh, along here. So that means Emacs actually remember that the column is this. And as I go down below, it actually adjusts everything accordingly. So uh, I'm not sure if it should do anything. So it's kind of... But at the same time, at the same time, if I delete this entire thing, it's still fine. How, how does it even work? That's really strange. Hmm, there's a lot of interesting stuff here involved. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's very interesting. So it just like, depends on how you wanna, how you wanna approach this entire stuff. Mm, depends on how you wanna approach this entire stuff. So whether the column should be automatically modified, maybe it should be modified. Maybe it should be modified. Um, At least for now, it will make it a little bit easier. At least for now, it will make it a little bit easier. Uh, so because of that, I'm gonna actually accept the column as a pointer, right? And we're gonna modify it. Um, and in here, we're gonna pass this thing by a pointer, right? So this entire thing is gonna modify this kind of stuff. All right, it's pretty pogue. Uh, and editor push new line is gonna be pretty, pretty straightforward as well. Um, Editor, um, editor, editor, and this one is not implemented yet, so I'm gonna just assert this super quick. Uh, not implemented yet. It's not implemented yet. All right, and if I try to recompile this entire thing, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work now? Yo, uh, insert after the cursor. What is going on? Uh, did I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> C compiler being useless yet again. You know what's ha what happened? Uh, I think I forgot a semicolon somewhere. Like, I literally forgot a semicolon somewhere here. Uh, no, I, I didn't. And yet again, I have no idea what is going on. So also, these kind of things has to be called editor. Uh, so sometimes you may make a mistake uh, in C and you'll spend so much time searching for it. And I have a pretty decent amount of experience in C and I still struggle when the when something like that happens, it's just insane how bad this language is. Um, so let me see. Okay, so there's no such function. That's, that means I'm gonna do something like buffer. Uh, right, uh, editor, right? So it has to be something like editor. Uh, let me see. So this is the editor. Uh, and what do we have in here? So editor dot h oh yeah of course like it's incapable of just telling me precisely where i need to put a semicolon so the complexity of the compiler code base reached that point that it's incapable of producing useful error messages it's just insane 
<laughs> my god like th this is supposed to be the job of the compiler to, to search for all of that not mine but i mean uh. Welp, it is what it is. It isn't what it isn't. Um, <clears throat> okay, then. Uh, line insert. Okay, so we have a conflicting stuff in the header, of course. Uh, let's put a pointer in here. Right, we're putting a pointer. Mm -hmm -hmm. So here's the cursor, and yeah, because of that, I think I don't have to do this kind of stuff and this kind of stuff, because it has to be done somewhere there. Right, it has to be done somewhere there. Uh, right, and this is something like this. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Uh-huh, this is the pointer, so we increment that, and because of that, I have to also do column plus text size. So let's go through all of these places. Mm-hmm. Uh Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the compiler is going to optimize all the threads. Uh, yeah, so line insert. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, this is going to be something like this. Uh, and when I do backspace, I suppose I also have to do something like minus one. Uh -huh. And here, I can also do something like this. Uh, and of course, if I put this stuff. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't need to update when I delete things. It pretty much stays. Wait a minute. I think when I delete things, well, I mean, yeah, technically. Yeah, for now. For now, I don't have to update the cursor when I delete something, but in the future, as we have multiple lines, I will have to merge the lines together. That's what I at least will have to do. But not for now, not for now. So, uh, all right, let's continue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, assert false. Uh, let's include stdboolean.h. Uh, stdboolean uh -huh, uh -huh. Rootyfend! Thank you so much for 13 months of tier 1 subscription. My god, thank you so much. And welcome to our epic text editor club. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So it says the unused variable editor. What are you talking about? Oh, this is fine, actually. Um, so it has to be the editor uh, cursor column. The editor cursor column. And the another one, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Editor cursor column. The next one, another one another one uh so this is that one editor cursor column there we go uh all right seems to be working um the only thing i need to implement right now is being able to push a new line uh, pushy pushy you know committee committee pushy pushy and committee committee this one is rather interesting so, and especially if I completely remove the lines, do I... Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, if uh, editor... Mm -mm, editor capacity is uh, greater or equal than editor, uh, than editor size, we'll probably have to expand the, uh, the amount of lines that we have. Um, otherwise, we can just increase the editor size plus one. There we go. So, and how we are increasing the uh, the amount of stuff. So, we probably also need something like editor init capacity, right? So, editor init capacity. And how many lines do we want to allocate up front? How many lines do we want to allocate up front? I suppose we can allocate, um, I don't know, 128, right? Mm -hmm. So, what data structure are you using to store the text? Arrays, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can put anything else into the RAM, because RAM is basically a huge array. Mm. I'm starting to believe, after years of software development, I'm starting to actually believe that there is no other data structure as the structures except arrays. Because again, you only have a one huge array, so it's just like different subdivisions of arrays. 
Um, all right, so if we have that, um, and how are we going to be expanding? I suppose maybe we can do something like editor grow, if you know what I'm talking about. So can, can we do something like that? Right. So static line editor grow. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know the data structure, so here's the entire thing. I have a line, which is array of characters, but it's actually a stretch buffer, right? So basically it reallocates as you push more text into it. And I have an editor, which is a sequence of lines, which is also a stretch buffer that expands as I push more lines. It's a race, just using a race. So is that sufficient enough? Uh, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, Hello, Cozy White Bear. Do you use arrays in your applications, Cozy White Bear? Uh, because I do. Mm, okay, so this is gonna be editor. Editor, editor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. so funny. Twitch community is so toxic. I was just trying to implement my, my own text editor and the chat was constantly suggesting to use a rope. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, it's just a, it's a stupid joke. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I think they don't like me. <laughs> I really think they don't like me. Uh, all right. Uh, it's not funny, I'm sorry. I have a really dark sense of humor. I really apologize for that. Um, so yeah so this is basically the capacity and uh, here when we are reallocating this kind of shit right so the capacity has to be uh multiplied size of um editor lines so it's gonna be editor uh lines zero that's what i want to have in here right? so it's gonna be just like lines um <clears throat> Dark theme for sense of humor, yeah. Editor T. Size. Yeah. Editor grow. Uh, lines, 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 lines. Okay, so this looks a cool. Uh, and essentially what I'm doing here, right, so I wanna do editor grow. Uh, Okay, and for people who constantly suggest uh, the rope, I heard about the rope, I don't know what it is though, but I heard, as anyone in, in the chat probably, that the proper editor has to use rope, right? But I want to rediscover that thing myself, right? So I want to just sit down and just try to implement an editor with the specific requirements that I have, and we'll see what kind of problems I will face and what kind of solutions I can come up myself, right? And see if I can, you know, come up with something like, you know, that fits my specific case, if you know what I'm talking about. Right, I'm not trying to jump into just reading the structure and just implementing it without uh, even considering what I actually need. Maybe I, my specific use case doesn't even need rope. I, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So, um, and, you know, so some, sometimes when you read about like things, your brain gets poisoned by ideas and it's, it, it becomes really difficult to think in terms of different ideas, right? So if I read about the rope and the approach of the rope, um, I'm just afraid that I won't be able to come up with a different solution. So because my brain is going to be poisoned by that idea that I have to use the data structure. So it's better for me to not know about this data structure at all and see if I can come up with something else. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, I don't know if it makes sense. Maybe it doesn't make any sense, but it's just like I just want to explore this project myself. Uh, um. <clears throat> mm, I was 
doesn't suggest you need, uh, you can, yeah, but, but I heard about it, uh, I heard about it. <clears throat> it's like, it's, it's a common knowledge at this point. Um, mm, all right. Oh, shit. I think we did a fucky wacky. Uh, I, I think I even know where we did a fucky wacky. Uh, because in the main application, we probably append, yeah, we've appended this shit twice, yes. Uh, I actually instantly recognize uh, what's going on here. Yeah, there we go, now we're talking. Uh -huh. And I think I implemented the editor. I think I implemented the editor. Um, insert the text before the, uh, the content. So maybe I want to have something like that inserts a new line. Uh, and after we will be able to insert a new line, um, we'll be able to do some other some other interesting stuff. So here we're already sort of inserting. Um, <clears throat> uh, is your CPU trying? Yeah, it is because I'm using laptop, right? I'm, and I'm streaming from the same laptop as I uh, actually work on. And uh, I'm using hardware accelerated uh, encoding, and because of that, it actually takes up 100% like of CPU all the time. So it is what it is. I'm sorry. Um, so this is a push new line, and that should be fine. So what I'm thinking is that um, I want to have like something similar. Insert a new line after the cursor, right? So. Yeah, so we're going to be inserting it uh, after the cursor. So, but to do that, we'll have to do something like more special, All right? So, line insert text before um, mm -hmm. void editor insert new line, and we're going to be providing that just just the editor. Um, mm -hmm. Watch the curl TCC video on, on YouTube yesterday. It was a great watch. Yeah, I also enjoyed that stream. That stream was amazing, actually. <laughs> I didn't expect that stream to turn out good. Um, so, and I was actually super happy that we managed to, to make something cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It would be kind of kind of fun to basically propose this patch to TCC developers, but I don't know. I think I think they're busy enough. So it's and it also looks like a trolling or something. Um, so insert the new line. So this is a push new line, and um, uh, okay. So insert text. I want to go uh, line insert text. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I basically want to adapt this code to insert the new line, right? So this is what we're going to be doing in here. Uh, but what we're going to be using is a row, right? If for whatever reason, uh, line uh, current row is less than, uh, is greater than the editor size, it's going to be equal to the editor size. So in here, we actually want to, um, yeah, we actually want to insert only one, right? So because of that, we're going to be just doing um, this thing. So I'm going to do editor grow, but we're going to insert like one thing. Then we're doing mem move, um, and this one has to be something like uh, editor uh, cursor row. Right, and then this one has to be plus one, and this one is going to be editor uh, cursor uh, row. And here we're going to have just an editor. All right, so but here we have to uh, multiply all of that by the size of the line because we're moving the lines, right? Mm, so it's going to be something like this, and I'm just you know, putting this stuff like that. Uh, multiply size of uh, editor editor line zero 
And the reason I'm doing it like that is because if I change the type of the line, I want to go back and change this uh, stuff all over again. Because if I do something like this, but then I will make the line a different type and I may forget to change this place, right? So that's why I rather prefer to just explicitly say I'm using the size of this specific thing. Uh, right, so it's just like prevents a whole class of errors in C. To be fair, like in a language, there should be no such class of errors, but we're talking about C programming language, right? C is a, is a very special language, um, in my opinion. So to be fair, like it's kind of not really readable. We could make something like size T element, element size, right? And we can move this size of this thing in here, right? And just say um, element size. Uh, element size, there we go. That's what we're doing in here essentially. Um, and uh, interestingly enough, we're just moving like this stuff a little bit, right? Just freeing up some space. Mm -hmm. Which also means that I wanna like, yeah, in this particular case, I will need to mem set this specific thing. Um, mm -hmm. So, memset uh, editor uh, lines uh, editor cursor row. I take the pointer and I just zero initialize and I just use uh, element size. There we go. Maybe because of that, it could be something like line size. Let's go line size. So we don't need to copy anything, and this is the editor is going to be plus one. Uh, and do I want to actually change the uh, the row? Probably. Mm. So this one is going to be just editor size, and I'm not going to do this kind of stuff. All right, so hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes in here. We'll see how it goes. So let's see if this entire stuff even compiles. Uh, uh -huh, so this is the more of a editor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, cu cursor role, not current one. Cursor role. Mm -hmm. uh, editor grow. Mm. Do you consider make it easier to implement multi-line editing or you are interested in implementing that? Well, I want to tell you, I don't really know what I want to implement. Right now I only have this. That's it. And I cannot even create new lines. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I can have multi-line editing if you don't have multi-lines at all. You literally have one line. <laughs> so let's get this editor to some sort of state. And then we can we can see what kind of cool features we can implement. So, uh, well, I'm in the middle of implementing multiple lines, though. Um, um, make it easier to implement multiple. Like I'm, um, I, I don't know. It's it's like too early to ask this kind of questions. We're just making, we're just making things, uh, right? So we're just making things. Let's just make something that works. All right. Uh, so. It's like uh, one of the like main mistakes of the young developers, right? So they're trying to uh, think about all of these crazy ideas and try to implement all of them at once and nothing works, right? Let's implement something that at least works for now. And, and then we can think about like all of these crazy features because we don't have anything that's working. Uh, right, so... Um, yeah. uh, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Uh, all right, so what do we have in here? So we're trying to render the cursor. Oof, 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 oof. The cursor is rather interesting beast, I would say. Um, so I suppose the cursor is going to be essentially... So this is X, uh, that means the editor, uh, cursor row, uh, cursor column actually, is going to be that. And uh, then it's going to be something like 
float editor uh, dot cursor row multiplied by font character height multiplied by font scale right so this is going to be font scale uh, can we just move this stuff like that right there we go um, <clears throat> interestingly enough interestingly enough is that it I think that should be it actually so and then uh, oh yeah depending on what we're doing right now we have to render it mm, differently right if I'm rendering it on top of the current character um, mm. so we need like an easy way to get the current character if, I know, if you know what I'm talking about um, because sometimes the cursor may point at the character sometimes it may not point at the character um, so let me we need something like um, character um, so we also can be const editor uh, char uh, under cursor right <laughs> so I actually want to have something like this uh, this one oh shit what the fuck is happening Right, it's gonna accept an editor and just return you a single character and the cursor. And if there's no character and the cursor, but if it's at the end of any of the uh, of the lines, it's gonna return null to you, and you don't have to render anything. So that's what I, I want to have in here, right? Because like, um, yeah, it's it's better to tuck away this kind of logic. Um, all right, if editor uh, cursor row is uh, less than editor size. Then, if uh, editor uh, cursor column is less than editor lines uh, cursor row size, there we go. Only then we are returning. What are we returning? We're returning editor lines, editor row uh, characters, editor column. Uh, right, edit a column, and we return a pointer to this entire thing, and we also mark it as constant because we don't want the user to modify this kind of thing. Uh, then we're gonna return null. You see? <laughs> right. This is what it takes to check what's the current character under the cursor, and it's needed for rendering. Right? If the cursor is currently on something, we need to render it on top of the character. Um, maybe if we had like a, just a single thin cursor, we wouldn't need this kind of stuff. But for now, we do need it. Uh, right, so yeah, uh, that's what we need in here. So set the texture, color, and uh, if we grab this entire thing, so this is going to be C, and this is going to be the editor. Uh, and if you have C, uh, we're just rendering it like that. Easy, easy, super easy. Ura. Uh, cursor less than something, so uh, wait a freaking second. Um, oh, yeah, we, we don't need to do this kind of stuff because this is precisely what's going on here. And because of that, we can actually do it like this. Uh, two, two, two. So, editor, character, and the cursor. And I have to actually uh, do like a pointer in here, and I have to do reference. Speaking of. Right. I remember somebody at the beginning of the stream asked, are you using uh, ch uh, character star instead of character? So does anyone remember somebody asked that in the chat? Look, here I have a character star and this function expects a character. And look what's happening if I try to do that. The compiler just tell me, bruh, you're trying to put a character star in the place where you expect a character. So. I don't have to worry about that. You guys remember? I don't remember who said that, but it's just like, come on. It's 2021. Like, use statically typed compiled languages. Come on. Seriously. Uh, all right. So, line backspace. So, now I have to do editor backspace, right? Something like this. Uh, editor. Uh, and this one is going to be editor delete. Uh -huh. So, this is editor delete. When I move left, Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> I think Kashi is drunk. Uh, so. um. It's a point. Huh? GS. Um, 
So, uh, how are we going to be updating this kind of shit? I uh, no. Oh, freaking no. One of the things we can do, actually, uh, believe it or not, we can just do editor um, cursor. So if it's left, uh, and if this thing is greater than zero, we can just simply uh, do minus one, right? Mm, mm, mm. Minus one, there we go. So this is minus one. Uh, if it's right, we can just increment it because we have a lot of guards. Guards? <clears throat> Send them into prison. Perma Um So we have a lot of guards in, uh, <laughs> in the code which automatically update the column if it's, you know, bigger than, than available. I wanted to type a joke, but uh, prematurely hit send. Oh, yeah, classic. Uh, it's too late, I have to... We do not approve of, of uh, Sudoku. Uh, it's against US. Sudoku is against US. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> so we have something like... Uh, this, is not a, uh, this is not a pointer. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> so, editor, uh, in, insert text, uh, how is it called? I forgot. Editor.h uh, Insert text before cursor. Okay. Uh, mm, mm. Before cursor. Right, so we have editor and then we have the text and everything. Uh... <sighs> All right. So then, okay, this one is very interesting, because now we need to render not a single line, but multiple of them. How are we going to do all of that? That's a very interesting question. Uh, we can iterate all of them, I suppose. So it's going to be size t row, uh, row less than editor size. Right, so plus plus row. Okay, so this is a single step. And then within a single row, we do editor uh, lines row and we just render the characters. I might as well actually do something like line, line const and. Uh -huh. Line character. Uh, line size and that should be it uh, edit row I think we finally came up with <laughs> with the name for our editor edit row uh, yes we were looking for that name for <laughs> no it, it should be sure in my opinion TE is actually pretty pretty short and sweet I like that uh okay we might as well actually do something like you know plus roll hey yeah mm, okay and it crashed invalid old size old size wait what how the fuck does it work a realloc uh old wait a freaking second how is that supposed to even freaking work, meat? Um, mm, section. Um, okay. Edit bro. <laughs> Actually. Uh, all right. I wonder. So at least it's aborted, right? So it's aborted, and as far as I know, aborted uh, can be ca uh, caught by a compiler, right? So we can do something like this. We can run this thing. I'm gonna press and then I can take a look at the stack and we're trying to grow a specific line that's what's interesting about it so oh I know what the fuck is going on uh, I did... <laughs> um, yeah I think I know what the fuck is going on um, we do not zero initialize the, the thing we are reallocating yeah. Re does reallocation even guarantee that you're gonna have some shit in there? Uh, maybe. Does it even guarantee? So it's gonna be a realloc. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think it guarantees a change of the size of the memory point. It only Calloc guarantees the initialization, so we'll probably have to be a little bit careful in here. Um, okay, so insert text, uh, line editor, insert new line. Uh, so we insert this thing. Well, I actually meant set it to zero, so that should be fine. Uh, didn't I specifically do that? I think I specifically did that. Um, so that means after that, it couldn't, it couldn't do something. Uh, okay, but what was the size of this thing? All right, so it was actually, it was actually one. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro. Hmm. That's actually interesting. So maybe it could be called Bro. Eh, I don't know what called Bro, to be fair. So. Uh, I, I guess I need to go into line grow. Uh, let's do something like this. So we can do a little bit like that and break line grow. All right. So let's just run this entire thing and I'm gonna insert this uh, stuff and let's take a look. Let's take a look at the line inside of this stuff. Oh, shit. Mm, interesting. So this is garbage. This is straight up garbage. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, line insert editor, insert text before the cursor. Yeah, so that means we have to actually uh, go a little bit further. Editor text. Uh, editor insert um, text before the cursor. Right. So that's what we need to do in here. Uh, all right. All right. All right. So let's do a break and let's run this entire thing. And boom. So what do we have in here? So if I take a look at the editor. So what's inside of the editor? Well, inside of the editor, everything seems to be fine. Right, if the cursor roll is that, and yeah, we actually hit editor push new line. Let's see what's gonna happen in there. So we're trying to grow the editor, which is understandable, right? So let's actually stop a uh, step even further. So this is the new capacity, uh, right? So let's print new capacity, new capacity. Mm, all right, so it's initially zero, and uh, that means I need to increase. Okay, so this is the editor init capacity. So can it accommodate that? It can accommodate that. Uh, new capacity is equal to this stuff. And we are, I think I found a mistake, didn't I? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, so we are reallocating this entire stuff. This is the new lines. Uh, a new capacity becomes like basically that. So if I take a look at the editor now, uh, editor, oh, it has that. Mm, editor has that, and then I set the capacity. Oh, I think I think I know. I only zero initialize the line when I insert, but not when I push new line. Okay, so that makes sense. So that means I need to go in here. Uh, right, I need to go in here. Yeah, there we go. So I think I think I found it. All right, so that means I need to do mem set editor. Mm -hmm. Mem set editor uh, lines size. Right, and I just want to set it to this, and this is going to be like a size of editor. Uh, lines zero. There we go. So we're just zero initializing this entire thing, and only then we're going to increment the size. All right, because of that, uh, I think it is working. It is twerking. Is it not? I think it is. Uh, oh shit. Okay, so the, the rendering is kind of strange, but I mean, it's, it's kind of working at the same time. Uh, okay, yeah. It's, it, this is actually rather interesting. So we can actually go to the right. But then, if you try typing, it actually snaps it in here. So this is because of the guards in the lines, right? So this is because of the guards. You try to do some other stuff. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay. So uh, we have several lines now. I think the time has come to implement multi-lining. Um, multi multiple lines, that's what I wanted to say. 
so we have uh, SDL left, SDL right, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, okay, so SDL okay. Guards, ban, perm ban, uh, up, something like this. All right, so uh, editor, if editor uh, cursor row is gonna be greater than zero, then we're gonna just simply uh, do something like this. Um, this one. To be fair, like maybe we should have like editor up, editor down, left and right, and the editor is gonna do all of the necessary boundary checks and stuff like that. Mm -mm. I still don't understand why Twitch classifies this content as uh, 18 plus because I actually placed a check mark in the um, in my channel uh, to warn everyone this is 18, 18 plus because I fucking swear a lot. That's why. Uh, all right, so in this one is going to be something like like this. Uh, so, all right. So can I go? I can actually go. Uh, this, this is fun. All right. So, but it automatically snaps in here, so I didn't have to do anything. Okay. Now uh, we need to handle enter. Right, I think it's something like SDLK uh, return, right? So this is SDLK return and um, editor, what was that? Editor, insert new line, right? Uh, uh, editor, insert new line, and this is gonna be something like this. Uh, all right, uh, nice, it's sec faulted, that's cool. Uh, but this is actually pretty uh, pretty good because uh, then we can tell where exactly it's segfaulted, uh, right? People are always afraid of segfaults. They think it's something bad, but uh, segfaults are as bad as compilation errors, right? So basically, they just tell you where you have to look for, or they tell you that you have a vulnerability somewhere. <laughs> All right. So where exactly? Uh, I think. Okay. So now it failed. Uh, where did it fail? Uh, it failed somewhere at, oh, render text sized, oh shit, that's very interesting, um, render text size, so it couldn't render an empty thing, is that what, what happened? Um, that's very really strange, or is that because, uh, all right. Mm, color is that mm. text? Oh yeah, text is incorrect. Look at that. Huh? That's very really strange. Why text would be incorrect? Mm. Mm -hmm. This is really strange. Um, and then, um, can it access the memory at address uh, 36? And then I'm trying to iterate this into a step, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so if I'm inserting, um, let me see. Let me see if I we are inserting everything correctly yet again. So we're going to be breaking on the uh, editor.h uh, insert text before the cursor uh, break run uh, all right so and did it already fail uh, all right so uh -huh. uh, okay and actually i didn't want to uh, go here insert new line this is what i want okay. uh, break this one and let's run it, okay, and then boom, uh, and let's take a look at what we have in here. Okay, uh, so a row is greater, we don't have to modify it. Um, if I take a look at the editor, right, do we have anything already grown in the editor? So what's the capacity? Capacity is actually quite big, so I don't think it's that big of a problem, but I can step into the editor grow anyway, right? So uh, right now it's like nothing new, so we don't have to grow anything. Uh, okay, so we calculate the line size. Uh, so here's the line size, mm, 24. 
uh so this is the uh, yeah 24 bytes which is which is fine i suppose which is totally fine we also uh-huh so we can also try to print the lines okay, so here's the editor uh, and then we have the lines in the editor right, so here are the lines hmm. though we can try to do something like this so the line contains that and then we can do editor uh, size right so we have only one line in there uh, but what if we have two of them right so here is the second line and the second line is completely yeah I see so uh, we effectively have to move that line a little bit further right and if I take a look uh, okay so then I'm actually oh okay oh all right so I basically mem set okay I, I should have actually yeah uh, mem set the next line right i should have actually mem said the next line okay that's actually pretty cool uh that explains everything okay the edit the debugger is actually very useful in here i wish uh, it was a little bit better but it is what it is um so we're going to be mem setting row plus one uh right we're mem setting row plus one um incrementing the size and i think i also want to actually increment the cursor row as well i think it's going to be very useful in the future uh so let me let me see okay um so hopefully that will fix the the situation of our nation oh okay that is interesting so it also sec faulted but uh there was a problem with the rendering uh there was a problem with the rendering so and the problem with the rendering oh by the way uh i can do the following thing uh, editor uh cursor uh, column uh, has to be equal to zero now right so uh, and after that after that um, when I'm rendering all of this stuff oh yeah there we go A render text size so in terms of like X this thing should be rendered um, depending on the row we multiply a row by the font character height so the font character height and font scale right and font scale um, all right so that that means it will actually move down now uh, and will render new things hopefully all right uh, did, it, did it recompile I don't think I recompiled it actually oh it has to be oh, okay uh, it has to be a different company I'm sorry uh, back to F all right so Mm. and it cannot actually send the second line for some reason okay but at least we can we have two lines all right so now it's not a single line editor it's actually two line editor right so at least you can have two lines in here and you can actually move between them and append uh, append to different lines i think you can even remove from from several lines and yeah that's actually pretty cool <laughs> right but you cannot have additional lines right so it's sec faults because of this uh let's try to find out why it's sec faults now uh right so if we insert this thing then we insert another one insert another one and where exactly it's like faulted editor insert new line it's somewhere at uh, 102 right so it's 102 um all right this one is very interesting um uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. i wonder why because you have uh, this thing uh and the amount of things you oh yeah i see i already see the problem yeah so yeah it's really inconvenient to work in terms of like bytes instead of like elements <laughs> but this is what it is uh all right so that's pretty pog uh let me show you something cool chat uh we're gonna write hello world Uh, I should probably do this in like print app. Hello world. Mm. Uh, it's going to be new line, right? So then we're going to have something like this. Return zero, and there we go. We have a hello world. 
written in our own text editor. Isn't that POG? I think it's pretty POG. That's pretty POG. <laughs> we can't save this shit, but uh, I don't know. <clears throat> so can I insert new... Oh shit, it... Did it, did it fail? Yeah, I think it's a quote. I was trying to insert an element, uh, a line between the things, and it, it actually definitely fucked up. All right, so uh, let's try to debug this thing one more time. Uh, right, I suppose I can append, but if I try to insert a new one, okay, so another one. Uh, yeah, let's try to run it, uh -huh, like this, and then like that. And it didn't really fail. All right, now it failed. Uh, it because of the rendering yet again? Um, not quite sure, not quite sure. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, production quality level is reached. Ship it, yeah. Uh, so, but I want to be able to do this kind of stuff, but it doesn't, yeah. And then it's called. I think it doesn't update something properly, I'm not sure. Like, what is, what is not updated? All right. So increment the row, increment the counter and stuff like that, so should be fine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Should be fine, uh, but I'm not quite sure, not quite sure. Uh, I guess... Mm -mm. Has the last element? I don't think so, actually. Mm. Because um, the thing here is that uh, we can append things quite easily. So let's just pass the last element. But if I try to insert something, uh, all right. Mm -mm. Mm. So I did the size. Uh -huh. But we need to actually catch uh, this thing properly, right? We need to catch this thing properly. So editor insert new line. Uh, so it's gonna break. Uh, right, and let's go. Uh, is and it's already catched? Oh, okay. Eh. GDB is really not convenient. <laughs> I want to prepare some text first and then do something. It's just like, oh, bruh. Okay, uh, one way we can do that, we can basically pre-append some text in there, if you know what I'm talking about. We can uh, pre-append. Mm -mm -mm -mm. uh, so, let me see, so this is gonna be something like... Um, I don't know, we can just do... Uh, editor.h editor insert text before the cursor right so we're gonna be essentially inserting that right so here's some text uh, and then we need to insert a new line right we're inserting a new line like so uh, right so this is gonna be yet another thing and we're gonna be copy pasting this stuff a couple of times right so I just want to insert more things in there. Uh, right, I'm inserting more things in there. Uh -huh. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. So can it work now, please? Okay, so we, we have that shit working. Beautiful. And if I try to... Well, it already fucked up somehow. Uh, uh, okay, let's try to restart this and see what is going on. Maybe it's when I'm down there. Um, hmm. <laughs> I really like how it just corrupts the, the whole memory. It's absolutely loved. Uh, so... Uh, mm. Eh! What the fuck? I think it actually locked or something. Uh, can I kill this thing? Oh shit, I actually cannot kill it. So kill all minus nine TE. Uh, right, this seems to be... What the hell? This is actually really strange. This is actually really s the fucking sauce. Uh, really fucking sauce, mate. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
mods ban firm ban mm. all righty so um it's kind of kind of strange isn't it it's kind of strange mm. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I just need to like think about this stuff. Insert a new line, all right? So first of all, we grow uh, the entire thing, all right? We grow the entire thing. So this is the capacity, uh, new capacity. We say that it should be enough, and then we reallocate the entire stuff. And here is the new capacity, is essentially, right? So and this one is correct. I'm actually kind of confident in this one, right? So then. If I'm trying to insert a new line in there, right, so the row, I know the row is more or less correct. Um, so the destination is that. Uh, and I think we're moving along that step there. You know what? I don't need to multiply this by lines because the type of the pointer is already pointed to the line. I don't have to do that, so oh my god. Mem mem move is horrendous. Because of this pointer being typed, I don't need to multiply it by the size of the element. But because this is the size and bytes, I have to This is so bad. Holy shit. <laughs> this is such an old language, like in the modern languages it shouldn't be a thing. Right, oh my god. So essentially in a more modern language where you have generics, you would actually accept the uh, the size of the element as the generic, so you wouldn't have to do that. Oh, this is so bad. Why am I even programming in C? I don't know, this is such a bad language. Should have written it in Rust. Am I right, fellow, fellow Rusters? Uh, how do you call yourself, Roosters? I, I don't know. Mm. What is the name of the Rust community? I think it's called Roosters, right? So, yeah. How do you do, fellow Roosters? Isn't that epic? Okay. Uh... <laughs> so, let me, let me see. Uh, that should be actually working. Holy shit, look at that, chat, look at that, look at that. Can your Roost do that? Can your Roost do that? I, th I don't think it can, actually. Mine got, mine got. Uh, I can edit shit and shit. Uh, so <laughs> it is working. Um, so, yeah. I could do. This is literally the reason why I'm so fucking insane, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like that. That's precisely it. That's precisely it. Uh, and and it's not even a joke, and it's not even fucking funny. Um, so, <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> so let's continue. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's really, really unhealthy. Maybe we should switch up the platform or something, because it's just like... I'm not sure if it's a problem of me, or is that a problem of Twitch in general? Maybe Twitch became like that. Because I don't remember Twitch being like that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I just don't remember. Like... I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Uh, all right. Um, Let's do the following thing. Implement, uh, implement, um, multi uh, multiple uh, lines. Uh, okay, and let's push that right into the repo. Uh, let's push that right into the repo. Wah. Let's push that right into the repo. So I'm thinking is that maybe we can finally save the text that we typed into the file 
that would be kind of cool. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Uh, I mean by Twitch, the Twitch community in general, like a global Twitch community. I don't remember global Twitch community being like that uh, at the beginning when I only started. So it's, it's kind of strange. Okay, so editor, uh, save to file, right? So editor, save to file. So we're going to be accepting this kind of thing. Um, uh, editor. Uh, and uh, we're going to accept the file path, right? So we're going to accept the file path. Editor.c. Uh, all right. And um, yeah, so essentially, hmm. Mm, it's the bathtub. Oh, that actually explains it. Um, to be fair, uh, ah, whatever. I think I wanted to say something. Um, all right, so we're gonna iterate through all of the rows. Uh, row zero, row less than editor uh, size, right, so we're iterating through all that. First of all, we probably need to open the file, right, so this is going to be the file f open file path, and this is going to be like write, and if we couldn't open the file, if it's equal to null, right, so we're going to be reporting that, so the f printf. Uh, to be fair, technically I didn't think um, the editor should fail if it cannot save to a file, but I mean, we only started developing an editor, so it should be fine. Uh, error, uh, could not open file this because of that. Right, uh, file this because of that. All right, and uh, file path, and we have str error, error no, and then exit, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. So, and uh, now what we're going to be doing. So I need to do something like F right, I suppose. So this is going to be F right. Uh -huh. And let's grab this entire thing. Uh -huh. So, and what we're saving, we're saving line by line. So that means it has to be editor, uh, lines, row characters. The size of a single character is essentially one, but the amount of characters is going to be the size of the line, right? So this is the size and we're saving all of that into uh, F. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, so F right and then after we also need to probably do F put C. F put C. <laughs> uh, F put C. Uh, Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Put C. This is going to be std out, and uh, this is going to be a new line. Right. This is going to be a new line. Uh, and after that, I'm going to just close this entire stuff. Right. So I'm just going to close this entire stuff. Uh, how are we going to be saving all of that shit, by the way? Um, so that's a good question. STDIO, right? STDIO. Mm -hmm. mm, so error no. Error no dot h. Error no dot h. Uh, this one is a row. Okay, good. So also, mm, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. How can we? I don't know. So I have an idea. Chat, chat. Look, look, look. Uh, I'm going to bind the following key. Uh, case SDL key F2. Right. Uh, SDL key F2. And uh, so it's going to be editor nine uh, like this. So this is going to be the editor const. All right, so here is the editor and the file path is going to be something like main eh, output, right? So this is going to be the output. There we go. So, and I'm going to try, just try to uh, type something in here, right? So it's going to be std uh, h, uh, then int main, uh, all right, int main, three, four, print f, uh, hello world. 
uh, new line, something like this, and then we're gonna be returning zero, and then we're gonna do that. I'm gonna press F2. That didn't crash anything. I'm gonna close this entire stuff. Uh, and I think I did a fucky wacky. Yeah, I did a fucky wacky and oopsie doopsie. You know what? Who can guess what the fuck has happened? Uh, who can guess what the fuck has happened? Has happened? Uh, so essentially, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Should have put F. Uh, should have put F. One more time. One more time. Uh, right. So this is gonna be something like this. One, two, three, four. Print F. Hello world. Uh, N something like this and then we're gonna return zero and then this is gonna be that f2 boom boom output this was produced in the editor uh i can even prove that uh, this text was uh typed in the te editor f2 close the shit boom boom isn't that epic isn't that POG, fellow kids? Isn't that POG? I think it's pretty POG. <sighs> I think it is, in fact, pretty POG. Um, so, the things we need to have in here, I suppose. Um, multiple lines. We already have multiple lines. Uh, well, I mean, save load file. We can already save file, but uh, yeah, then we can load. So the things we want to have in here, um, we want to be able to delete a line, right? We want to be able to delete a line. Uh, delete line. Uh, insert a new line in between um, uh, split the line right on enter uh, <laughs> so split the line and do we need anything else I'm, I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure if we need anything else uh, two, 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 two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I guess that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna create like a pull request for this shit. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, I think we need more mods. I'm gonna make you mod come back. Uh, all right. All right. So what do we have in here? Um, implement uh, debug. Saving to file. Mm. All right, so and we're about to make a pull request. How about that? Okay, so something is failing in MSVC, right? Something is failing in MSVC. Um, this is not how we time out combat come sorry. Uh, so you know what's funny guys? It's only two people. It's not the whole chat. It's only two people. Just just saying. It's only two. Two commands. One command for one person, another command for another person. In chat is perfect. So it's like it's not the whole chat. It's literally two people who's polluting everything. I'm just saying. Um, and it's always like that. Uh, all right. So there's another one. Uh, 263. All right. So th thank you so much, by the way. Thank you. Uh, 263. Um, so and let me see. I think it's in the main. Uh, all right, 263. Mm. We should also show uh, where it did that. Uh, yeah, I see. So this is going to be float. 
um, try to fix MSEC build. Uh, we're gonna push that right into the repo. Mm -mm. <laughs> was the issue with Mr. C? Um, I suppose it was like very strict warnings, all right. So, and we also treat warnings as errors. And the warning was that it wasn't happy that we implicitly convert from size T to float. It was it was worried that it may lose some information. So we we pretty have pretty strict uh, compilation flags, which is actually a good thing, right? So I don't mind uh, you know this kind of stuff uh, as long as it catches you know pretty nasty bugs, that are very difficult to debug. So. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, another one, I suppose. Another one. Uh, all right. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Unresolved external symbol editor safe to file referenced in SDL. Uh, really? Oh, shit. That's weird. What the fuck? Uh, why was it? Ah, I know. Uh, yeah, I forgot to actually edit the build. I see, I see, I see. So it has to be editor. This is... Thank you. Who... Like, I think... Kolombetka or who suggested to add that to the... Yeah. Thank you so much for setting up the CIs. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Uh, Editor.c uh, Try to fix MSVC build uh, again. Um, by the way, speaking of, uh, so the, the, there was a pull request by Bill Keck. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Look at this commit history. Look at this commit history. This is absolutely beautiful. This is like a whole drama. Uh, try to get Xibin. <laughs> try to <laughs> fix patch. Crying. And finally, the happy ending. Finally, we managed to make it compile. <laughs> this is so good a lot. <laughs> You can read this commit message and you can see the pain. You can see the pain. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, so <laughs> it was an epic journey. I guess I'm gonna be crying yet again. Uh, am I? Yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna be crying. Well, did I did I push my thing? I think. Uh, all right, yeah. Um, so did it fix it? Uh, I've opened this function of uh, consider using. Wait, what? A fuck? Uh, this function, the following warnings um, might be, uh, if open might be unsafe. What the fuck are you talking? I'm gonna only try to fix str error. Uh, so, wait a second, uh, editor. So st for str error, you just have to include, wait, no, this is, this is not right. We have this string and the fuck? Uh, can we disable this thing? Uh, I think we should be able to disable this kind of stuff. Um, so in here, uh, msvc disable this thing. Uh, compiler warnings. Uh, disable warning. I'm pretty sure we disabled something like that in our other things, right? So if I take a look at the build msvc bat. Uh, is it nine? Is it that? W yeah, it's. We already disabled that before because it's annoying as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna disable it uh, real quick. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Hopefully. Um, so this is a C flags. Okay, so. Uh, crying. Uh, Okay. <laughs> mm. You can even disable all the unsafe function warnings, yeah. Mm. All right, so we're just waiting for this thing. Cheers, by the way. Rust Foppen. 
Is that how you're supposed to read it, by the way? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to read it as Foppen. I'm sorry. Drinking my own tears here, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, foppen, foppen, foppen. And it's working. All right. This is what C does to you, drinking vodka on every failed community. <laughs> Taking a shot every time MSVC build fails. <laughs> it's just going to be drunk stream. Um, so. Um, all right, seems to be working. We're only waiting for Clang and macOS. And macOS is also using Clang, as far as I know. Is it? I think it is. It is, it is using Clang. Clank, Clank, Clank. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. You can do that. I believe in you. Uh, Clang. Uh, so we're only waiting for macOS. We're only waiting for you, macOS. Why are you not working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's already building something, it's installing dependencies. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna actually call it a day in here. So today we had a pretty cool progress, look at that. Uh, now it starts to feel like an actual text editor. Well, at least it starts to feel like an actual, it's not really an actual text editor, but it feels like one. So I think it was a pretty good progress, not gonna lie, I think it's a pretty good progress. Uh, but unfortunately, boys and girls, it is time for me to go. Thanks everyone who's watching me right now, I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good one and I see you all next time. And uh, yeah, check out all the links, uh, check out all the stuff in the description, right? Because this thing is gonna be on YouTube, right? So uh, I also maintain the things that I wanna put into, into the description. By the way, don't forget to suggest your name for the editor. We still haven't come up with the name for the editor, uh, right? Um, and yeah. I'm gonna go. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Love you all. Mwah.